Uh, I believe that um, transforming the living style and the living quality of a city is a humongous kind of task. And I think we need to look at uh, the various elements that go into it. Uh, number one, the total uh, system. And the system would include the government, the civic authorities, the corporation. The second one would be what I would call as the individual citizen. His own personal beliefs, his cultural moorings, and the way he has uh, learned to come up and deal with everyday challenges, his own principles and conveniences of life. But I think the third and most important thing for me is what I call as a socio-cultural leadership who influence the thinking of the people and who can influence the institution, the government and the corporations and all that. I think a good synergy amongst these three is the way forward in terms of transforming social systems. So it's just not about uh, building architecture. It's just not about structural architecture. I think it's also about architecture of mind, about uh, belief systems, about values, personal responsibility. I mean, just the other day, uh, day before yesterday, you read that in Bombay, the anticipating fine system has collected 2.5 crores of rupees. I mean, I'm a Bombayer, so I just love that city, and I know in that city, what the quality, the spirit, the mindset of the people, which is so different from the rest of the country, you need that kind of a mental spirit, the sense of ownership, the sense of uh, inclusivity, the sense of willingness to adapt and change and try new things. I think a good city for a transformation requires an open mind and a willingness to change.